welcome back guys welcome back in another video tutorial so in this video tutorial we will going to talk about on biologically active function mediated by complement products okay so this video is nothing but here we will going to talk about the functions of the complement components okay so act activation of the complement result in several biologically active molecules which contribute to various type of functions we have talked about one only in details that is skinning of cell or lysis via mac formation that is membrane attack complex okay if you have not watched those video then i will highly want to recommend you to please go and watch those videos though those are very important okay as after that video we will going to talk about mcq questions on upcoming videos okay so please do revise okay then opsonization that is the helping in phagocytosis okay i have already dis discussed with you that of meaning of opsonization is helping in phagocytosis then chemotaxis anaphylaxis and inflammation so those are the important functions that complement component do after being activated okay so and how we have also discussed how complement components can be activated for example in classical pathway complement components are activated by antibodies right most pro most importantly igg and igm right let's talk about the term opsonization in details but we will not going to talk about opsonization specifically but our topic of discussion here is how complement component facilitates opsonization so what is the meaning of opsonization i have told you opsonization is nothing but helping in phagocytosis right so now helping in phagocytosis and i have so now the question is what is phagocytosis phagocytosis remember is meaning of phagocytosis is eating of foreign pathogen okay now if the meaning of phagocytosis is eating of foreign pathogen then who eats those foreign pathogen so those foreign pathogens are eaten by phagocytes okay well if we going to upload on videos on immune cells and organs then i will talk about what immune cells plays the role of phagocytes but for now take example of macrophage macrophage is a very important phagocytes okay so macrophage will going to eat pathogen right that is the concept of phagocytosis now here what complement components will do so we all know that complement component will bind with pathogens right if we are talking about classical pathway then the binding of complement with antigen will be mediated by antibodies right and if we are talking about lectin pathway then the binding will be depending on the presence of terminal mannose residue right and if we are talking about alternative pathway then it can be activated by any kind of antigen okay so now remember it that on the surface of those phagocytes that means those macrophage there are various receptors present okay those receptors can bind with complement components okay that means those receptors are specific for complement components okay and now let's try to assume that there is a complement component which can bind with that complement receptor bounded bounded with antigen so this yellow color circle is antigen okay now if this complement component interact with this complement receptor and bind as a result antigen will come in close proximity to the phagocytes and as a result phagocytes can easily eat that particular antigen okay so that is the concept of opsonization 
ऑप्शनाइजेशन हाउ ऑप्शनाइजेशन इज इज गोइंग ऑन हेयर देयर इज ए रिसेप्टर प्रेजेंट व्हिच इज स्पेसिफिक फॉर कॉम्प्लीमेंट कंपोनेंट्स एंड दोस रिसेप्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ फैगोसाइट्स ओके नाउ कॉम्प्लीमेंट कंपोनेंट ऑलरेडी बाइंडेड विद एंटीजन कैन बाइंड विद दोस रिसेप्टर्स ओके एंड इफ इट ऑकर्स the complement component will bring antigen to close proximity of phagocytes and as a result phagocytes can easily eat them that is the idea of opsonization so there are various receptors specifically for complement component present on those kind of phagocytes for example cr1 and cr3 receptors which are important for the phagocytosis of bacteria remember it now the question is what kind of complement component facilitate opsonization so remember c3b and its proteolytic derivative play the role of opsonization mainly along with c4b although c4b is playing a relatively minor role okay so that is the idea of opsonization i hope you have understood it very well now let's talk about anaphylaxis so in the video of activation of c3 and c5 i have told you that the smaller fragments for example c3a c4a c5a all will going to act as a fluid phase anaphylatoxin okay and i have told you in the basic video of complement component that all the small fragments of complement will be dissociated right so now this c3a c4a c5a after being dissociated can interact with various receptor okay and by this interaction they can create local inflammatory response that is in general cases okay but when they are produced in large amount they induce shock like syndrome okay that means in general c3a c4a c5a will create local inflammatory response but when they are produced in large amount they create shock like syndrome okay and this shock like syndrome is similar to what we seen in systematic allergic reaction involving ige antibodies we will going to talk about those allergic reaction if we talk about hypersensitivity in some other videos okay now such type of systemic allergic reaction similar shock like syndrome are termed as anaphylactic shock okay and as the as those c3a c4a c5a are creating those shock like syndrome so we are telling c3a c4a c5a as anaphylatoxin okay so that is the idea that means c3a c4a c5a will dissociate we have discussed about this thing in our previous video okay now after being dissociated they can react with various type of receptors and create local inflammatory response okay now when they produced in large amount they can create shock like syndrome similar to what we seen in case of systematic allergic reaction involving ige antibodies okay so such a reaction is termed as anaphylactic shock and that's why we are telling or we are referring this small fragment as anaphylatoxin okay so among c3a c4a c5a c5a is the most stable anaphylatoxin and having highest specific biological activity okay so you can see that c4b in case of opsonization plays the major role and here in case of anaphylatoxin in case of creating shock like syndrome c5a will going to lead right so now the important thing is the chart so which component will play the role of cell lysis so answer will be c5b to 9 that is membrane attack complex remember c1 to c4 will going to play the role to create the c5b9 they will not going to lyse the cell the main player of cell lysis is c5b9 okay 
Inflammatory response C3A, C4A, C5A because I have told you initially they are creating local inflammatory response but when they are produced in large amount they facilitate autoimmune response. Okay, this is about inflammatory response. Now let's see the next part. Inflammatory response can cause autoimmune disease. Okay, 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 inflammatory and solubilization and immune clearance c3b okay so that is the idea of biologically active functions mediated by complement products so this is the end of our lecture series of complement component there are various other theories also present but we will going to talk about this if required during our mcq solve otherwise we will not going to talk about those things okay so this is a core part of complement components or complement system that you need to know for your university exams as well as your entrance exam so i hope you have understood it very well so i will again come back very soon with some mcq questions for you so till then bye bye friends